Hello, MSTU 4500 Deconstructing Media. Here is a sample vlog, video log entry uh, for you to use as a guide for your vlogs. For the course, over the period of the course, you are required to keep a total of 10 different vlog entries that are five minutes in length each. Each vlog entry needs to deal with a different reading from the course. And as part of that vlog entry, you're going to take the reading from the course and apply it to a matter of, of, of importance to journalism today, an issue related to journalism. And you're going to use the reading to help talk about it. So for my example, here is, uh, so the reading from week two is the first chapter of Marshall McLuhan's Understanding Media. On page 11 of the reading, McLuhan cites David Sarnoff, General David Sarnoff, who was the head of RCA at the time. RCA is still around, but at the time it was a, a really huge, uh, originally radio broadcaster. Sarnoff re was receiving an honorary degree from the University of Notre Dame, and this is what he said, quote, we are too prone to make technological instruments the scapegoats for the sins of those who wield them. The products of modern science are not in themselves good or bad. It is the way they are used that determines their value, end of quote. So this is a really good example of a theorist, McLuhan, citing the work of someone else, in this case Sarnoff, in order to critique what Sarnoff said and, and also, more broadly, the idea behind what Sarnoff was saying. And, and so what M McLuhan is pushing back on in this, in this reading is the idea presented by Sarnoff that it's how we use technology as Sarnoff said, the products of modern science. It's how we use the products of modern science. It's how we use technology that matters. They are neither good nor bad themselves. And it's how we use them that we need to focus on and not blame technology. And McLuhan said, well, if that's the case, that's like saying apple pie is neither good nor bad. It's how you use apple pie that determines its value. Or the smallpox virus is neither good nor bad. It's how you use the smallpox virus that matters. And lastly, McLuhan says, that's like saying a gun is neither good nor bad. It's how you use a gun that determines its, its value, its impact on society. And McLuhan is really pushing back on this idea. And he said that such a statement that made by Sarnoff is uh, it ignores the nature of the medium and, and of any and all media. Later on in the reading, McLuhan talks about Louis Pasteur who is known for pasteurization, that's named after him. And Pasteur was saying, hey, you know, there's stuff in dairy like milk and other products, I think even beer, right, they pasteurize. There's the stuff that we don't see, we don't think about, but that can make us sick, and so we need to pasteurize. And at the time, people were saying, what are you talking about? There's these imaginary things that we can't see in the milk that we need to pasteurize. So again, McLuhan uses that as, he, com he's, he takes that, perspective, that idea of these aspects of, say, technology, of media that we don't think about, that we don't see, that we're not aware of, that very much does have an effect on us, um, that we need to be thinking about. And it's not just how we use technology that has an effect. So from this reading, I want to apply it to uh, the use of microblogging, specifically Twitter, uh, by politicians. So, of course, most recently, if we look at President-elect Trump, uh, he's going to be, I guess, president as of tomorrow, president of the United States. Um, he has really uh, uh, avoided having to deal with journalists when he doesn't want to by, by simply putting out a, a stream of, of tweets directly from his tweet account or Twitter account or having some of his people maybe put it out there in a Trump sort of style. Um, and uh, journalists, f for the most part, have been reduced to just reading his tweets and then talking about them. But they can't seem to hold, for the most part, be able to hold Trump down, get him to answer questions. Um, they have to, in, in some instances, but really they're in this mode of just reacting to his tweets and responding to his tweets and talking about them and having panel discussions and waiting for his next tweet. And, and this has really had a, 
uh, an impact uh, on on journalism today. And yes, McC uh, Trump is a savvy user of Twitter, uh, but it, Twitter itself has really had an impact on the way journalism is conducted today. It's it's the technology itself that has played a role. Thanks. Bye.